This is an advert designed to look like Norton Antivirus. The software itself is called Reimage, and when you phone their support number, they will try a tech support scam. They will sting you for as much money as they possibly can. But when you phone their help desk, exactly who is it that you're talking to? And how much money do they make from these scams? Critical alert from Michael When I get through to Reimage's support desk, I was speaking to somebody called Sadder. Sadder's employee ID was clearly visible whenever he joined to my computer. Click on OK now. OK. The ESIC, as it turns out, stands for Ecosoft Infocom. They also use the names Support Hello and Softwill Infotech. If you look at the three websites side by side, you'll be very hard pressed to notice any difference other than a phone number. And a search on Google Earth shows that it's fairly easy to find Ecosoft LLC. They're located in Delhi at this address. And fairly unusually, it's also possible to find pictures of both inside and outside this call centre. Thanks to Google, we can see Support Hello's banner and some more photographs inside the call centre. This is their canteen. Here's some other Christmas decorations. And here's a view of the outside of the building. It clearly shows that Ecosoft and Softwill are one and the same. So why all these different company names? The answer is to protect their revenue. This company will make $1.7 million every month. And this is dollars and it is the single month of January 2019. And where does all this revenue come from? It's a truly international business. This call centre will take calls from Germany, the UK, USA and Australia, Japan, France and other countries. And they've partnered with several manufacturers of scareware. Chief among these is PC Vark. PC Vark produce scareware for both PCs and Macs. And their titles include Mac Disk Cleanup Pro and for Windows, Wintonic. And Wintonic is another one of these pieces of software which is advertised by very sketchy means. Their other major source of revenue on this line is called ASR and it's Advanced System Repair. ASR is yet more scareware which is very similar to Reimage. And by taking calls from these three alone, they make over $50,000 per day. But is any of their work actually legitimate? I've received some internal documents from an insider, and it clearly indicates some very dodgy practices. This, for example, is a document on how to deflect awkward questions about their fake virus pop-ups. Agents are told never to say that they're actually Microsoft, and if they get any questions about where they're located, it's okay to say that they are located in India, but try and avoid any further questioning. If the victim asks any questions about why their number appears on these fake virus pop-ups, the agents are told to give a very woolly answer about being certified technicians, and that to be assured that they will be able to proceed and go and help them. In other words, it's all just a sales pitch. But what surprised me the most was the extent to which Ecosoft would go to run their scams. Here you can see a Japanese language proficiency test entrance card for one of their agents. Yes, they actually train their agents in Japanese so they can scam this pretty much untapped market. And if you ever wondered what a tech support scam sounds like by an Indian person trying to speak Japanese, this is what it sounds like. And if those lines sound familiar, it's because it's just a Japanese version of the re-image scam again. And scamming Japanese people seems to be well worth their while. It currently occupies more than half of the daily revenue of Ecosoft. And I've also been able to obtain what they call the call flow for any sales. This is mandatory for any agents. It starts in the normal way where the agent introduces themselves and usually the question is about activating this scareware. The agent is trained that they will diagnose the computer and they will run, as I saw, super antivirus and always run MS config. MS config is their route to say that the drivers have stopped 
and therefore there's a severe problem on the computer. This particular set of scammers are advised not to use CMD, in other words, type stuff out on the command line, unlike some of the other tech support scams I've seen. Even if the victim's PC has no problems whatsoever, they're expected to pitch a plan and inform the victim about the supposed benefits of this plan. If the victim believes these lies, the agent will take the payment and they will leave a calling card on the victim's PC. In this way, the victim is less likely to recognise that they've been a victim of a scam. They think they've got some value for money because they've got support for a certain number of years. And it's no surprise to learn that a company that makes this much money are extremely professional in the way that they run these scams. This is a sales operations pitch from the month of September 2018. They do very careful analysis of all of the various partners that they use and how much calls and revenue they generate each month. They set themselves keen productivity goals and one of the things they detest most is having to refund or charge back customers. So this comes under a lot of scrutiny. Like any company, if they see their target revenue dropping, they will attempt to find out the root cause. Here they've decided that agents need more training and they've put seven different agents onto performance improvement plans. If this sounds like your company, yes, it's just like any other. They really do record their calls and the log me in sessions so that they can see if they can improve the performance of their agents. Getting remote sessions is one of the key targets for this company because that's their opportunity to pitch for more money. The agents who bring in the least revenue are put on performance improvement plans and this is all to make sure that the revenues keep increasing each month. And if you did work for Ecosoft Infocom, this is the standard operating procedure you'd have to adhere to to make sure you kept your job. Every month, the bottom performing 10% of employees are moved to this performance improvement plan. If you don't meet your targets within five working days, you will get a warning letter. And two of these warning letters in a 60 day period means that your employment will be terminated. It's a pretty ruthless way of ensuring that you're going to get maximum sales out of the agents that you employ. They also monitor very carefully the number of minutes of rest that each employee has. You're only allowed two breaks of 15 minutes and one meal break of 30 minutes in an eight hour shift. They can monitor these times very carefully because the agents have software on their desktop which shows when they're talking and when they're taking these breaks. The 300 employees are not allowed to carry any electronic devices which could record or capture data or record anything inside the call center. And they do this for two reasons. It's not really for data privacy, it's more that the agents engaged in this sort of scam will take this data and sell it on to other scammers given half the chance. But the other reason is quite obvious. They don't want anyone recording the scams in action. Ironically, Support Hello's documents on expectation setting says that providing false or misleading information to their customers is against their policy and yet their own policy documents say that they have to use MS config as part of the routine to get a seal. One of the other partnerships that Echosoft has is with My Phone Support. My Phone Support are notorious in the scam baiting world because they attempted to silence some of the scam baiting community on scammer.info. Specifically, they tried to have legal action to identify the people who were making calls to my phone support. They even tried to claim that they were a legitimate organisation being pestered by scam baiters. There's an overwhelming amount of evidence that my phone support are a front for yet more of this scareware, and they do the exact same scams as re-image. And if there was any doubt about their partnership with my phone support, this is one of their calls. Thank you for calling my phone support. My name is Abhas. How may I help you? Yes, my name is Mike. I'd like you to help me get my birth date corrected on my Microsoft account. I put in an error. I put in the current date when I got the computer five years ago, and I keep getting these things that say I need a family, um, family support in order to get into certain apps. So you need to change your birthday date on which, sir? Like on your email? On my, mic on my Microsoft account. So for that you need to call Microsoft. We are my phone support. Oh, this says this is the Microsoft support number here. It says on the online internet. 
Uh, you Hazel, can search it on the call? Google, sir. Uh, you can search the Microsoft toll-free number. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome. Bye. But sadly for this victim, he couldn't find a free phone number from Microsoft, so he tried them again. Thank you for calling my phone support. This is Jenny. How can I help you? I want to have you help me change my birth date on my Microsoft account. Can you do that? Uh, right, sir. I will be definitely help you out with that. Before I go ahead any further, may I have your first and last name? Michael? Despite their claims, Equisoft could never have helped this person with this particular problem. All right, thank you. And your email address, please? Despite this, Jenny takes all the personal details from the person on the end of this phone call, even though she knows she can't help. Okay, thank you. And in case the line got disconnected, is it the right number? I can uh, get it back like 65. Despite knowing she can't help him, she will ask for remote access to his PC to push a sales plan. Right, so you're trying to log into your account to your phone or your computer? I'm trying to log to my computer and when I first got my computer I put I made a mistake on my birth date. I put in the date of today for my birth date rather than my real birth date. So I, whenever I get into any Microsoft account I, I have to ask for family approval to use certain apps. And I'm 76 years old. <laughs> I wasn't born five years ago. Okay. Well, you didn't sound like 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, no problem, sir. Uh, in that case, uh, I'll be connect your computer and I'll be definitely help you out with that. So is it okay with you? Yes. Right, so which computer you are using? Is it Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10? I have Windows 10. Okay, all right. So uh, please look at on your keyboard. On the keyboard, uh, you will find a Windows key at the bottom uh, left-hand side corner. Without playing all of the audio, this particular victim was taken for about $350 illegally. They could not possibly have fixed the real problem, which was with his Microsoft account, but instead they offered him a new antivirus product, which he didn't need, and support for the next two years. None of these things helped him with the original problem. And I have plenty of these recordings, should any lawyers want to pass my direction and claim that my phone support are a legitimate organisation. So until the police in Delhi take positive action and start to investigate Equisoft Infocom, these 300 employees will continue to rip off people internationally. If they were to seize the assets of this company, no doubt it would keep the cyber police in funds for quite a significant amount of time. I've passed a link to this video to the Delhi Cyber Police and if they contact me, I'll be sure to update this video. If you would like to support me in the creation of these videos, there's a link on screen and in the description below. I'm also on Twitter at JimBrowning11 and once again, thank you for watching.